friends and welcome to my channel. I am Cher. Today is definitely a very different kind of video. Normally you see me up in my beauty corner. I also have zero makeup on right now. So this is bare Cher in all her glory. I just, I didn't have time to go throw on the makeup. I got to go get my kids soon, but I really wanted to get this video out. It's something I've been wanting to vlog about for a while, but I kind of was just feeling inspired. So I was like, I'm going to go ahead and pump this out right now. So I'm out just enjoying my front porch and figured I would chat a little bit from the porch. So why I stopped blogging parenting disabilities. So if you're not familiar with me and this is your first time coming around here, um, I have three different Instagram, actually I have four, four Instagram pages. I have my main one that is Share Shares Beauty. I'm going to link it on the screen for you. I just started a new one for my makeup and um, mindful beauty practice called Soulful Beauty and Spa. Um, then I have my personal one that's just for, you know, very close friends and family that's set to private. Um, and then I also have the very first blog I started with, which is called Share Shares Blog, which is the same name as this channel because I kind of started this channel thinking I was going to do parenting disabilities. So Share Shares Blog was all about parenting disabilities. Um, I have been so inactive there that I finally actually ended up setting it to private for now because I have not been active on that page, but I didn't want to completely delete it either. So it's just sitting there doing nothing. Um, so I wanted to just, just kind of talk about that. And so if you follow me on Share Shares Beauty or you follow me here on YouTube, you know that I do a lot of beauty topics. I'm a makeup artist. I've kind of just evolved and transformed on my focuses the last couple of years. So three years ago, I started my first blog post and it was kind of more of a journal or like a diary for chronicling, chronicling my life as a special needs parent, special and medical needs parent. Um, I juggle seven different diagnoses between my two kids and it's exhausting. Um, so there, there were a lot of struggles. There was a roller coaster of emotions, to be honest. Um, I probably haven't been diagnosed officially, but have been through counseling and whatnot that your average um, special needs parent tends to experience PTSD-like symptoms. They have a form of PTSD that is due to the chronic caregiving, you know, burnout, basically. Um, definitely was experiencing some of those. And I went through therapy. I went through a lot of things, just trying to survive, basically. And um, some things helped. What really, really helped me was having a sense of community, finding other special needs parents, other parents of disabilities, medical moms, and just really found my tribe and that is honestly what got me through it. So I, I felt inspired to kind of write out some of the things that we, common things we went through as parents and start a blog to kind of inspire other parents. And so I started with my first blog post and I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna start a website and just, you know, see where the blog takes me. And then pretty soon after starting that, I just loved it so much. It was like, wow, this is, this is so me because I've always loved to write. I've always loved to express myself, kind of be out there in the spotlight too. I always wanted to be an actress or do something creative. I always wanted to be a published author. And so it was just right up my alley. And then I loved the design schemes and photography and kind of fitting it all out in a layout like a magazine almost like it was just so so me and I just really felt like wow this is almost like a, a calling to do this um, and so after a little time 
I decided, you know what, I'm going to just go for it and like see about like monetizing my blog and doing this as an actual living and see if I can just make a run at making a full blown blog. And so from there, you know, I set up an Instagram page, which is Share Share's blog, and really started getting into how to grow social media for it. And because, um, you know, blogs themselves were kind of dying and it was all about Instagram at that point, you know, every, it was like the Instagram age. Um, TikTok had not even come out yet. It was, well, maybe it might have just come out, but it hadn't gotten huge yet. So, it was, you know, it was all about Instagram and Facebook a little bit. So, I really wanted to research that. And over the next year, I started building it up and just, it was amazing. I loved it. It was like a calling. Um, however, there were a few behind the scenes, not so great things about it where... I had to start making some decisions that maybe the parenting disabilities niche was not the niche I needed to stay in, but I knew that I loved blogging and I loved the social media side. I loved writing. I loved everything about it. Um, and that was when I decided to start the beauty page. I wanted something that was for me, that was kind of more my hobbies and my expressions and all about me. Um, and the things that made me tick and I was really into beauty and um, so I just decided you know what I'm just gonna start another page and we'll just see what happens with it and just play around with it and then it took off and then after a while I just realized like I can't keep both niches up it's just too much for one person I had to kind of choose like what direction I was going in um, but I wanted to kind of break down just a few things to explain why I made the decision to um, get out of the parenting disabilities niche for the most part and this was even after I have tons of like blog articles and posts out there floating around on the internet that have made my website go crazy because a few of those posts kind of went viral and was successful and I met so many amazing moms and parents out there and connected with so many people. So it was a really hard decision to make. Um, but a few things, you know, that I just wanted to share. One is that my kids are getting older and, you know, in those young days, especially with like autism, um, you know, my son is on the spectrum. Uh, you have, you know, those days of early intervention where it's just huge. You have advocating for people to get tested early. Um, so much therapy and what you're going through when your child is young, when you're first kind of navigating the beginning steps of diagnoses. And you just feel so alone. After time, though, your kids get older and they want their privacy. Or um, you're just, you're out of that early intervention age where what you've done is kind of going to stick and they're kind of who they are and it's kind of set now, if that makes sense. So, um, not so much with my son, but with my daughter, um, she was getting older into the, you know, like middle school age and all where she really didn't want her stuff all over the internet. Well, in blogging, it's a little bit hard to blog about something without resonating with people. Um, without talking about specific examples, you know, it's kind of hard to blog. It's hard to find content, take pictures. You need to take pictures every day if you're going to be on Instagram. It was a little hard to do that in respect to privacy. Um, I had no pictures I could take. So it all had to be like of my son. But then as he got older, he didn't want pictures out there either. So it just, it became hard, you know, and it is, it's sort of one of those things where like, oh, it's a balancing act where um, you really want to be an advocate and, and put the word out there and talk about these issues, but then you're balancing, you're making that decision for your kids, you know, that's their business and their privacy and you're putting all of their stuff out there for the world and you're, you're kind of giving that choice taking it away from your kids. So I had to decide, yes, I love this, but at the expense of, you know, the respect for my kids' privacy. The second reason I stopped is because um, I wanted to be there, 
you know, in support of other parents. However, you're making your feelings, you know, it, there are a lot of deep feelings that come with this. And there are things that, people, that other parents really resonate with. However, you're putting out, putting those feelings out there for the entire world to see. Everything that I say when my kids are three years old that I just put out on the internet, they can come back and read that when they are 15. Um, do I really want my kids to read that? Oh, wow. Mom has PTSD because of me. You know, I mean, no, I don't. You know, I don't, I don't want those, those feelings you work through in therapy and those feelings that, you know, can, yes, they're statistically present for parents and that can help other parents to know that, yes, this is what we go through. But then later your kids can read that. <laughs> so, um, this was another reason is like, I don't necessarily need to be putting my personal diary of this out there. Um, a third reason is that I am a huge believer nowadays. I was not in the early days of, of this blogging, but over the last few years I've really changed. I'm a big believer in wherever you dwell, wherever your thoughts dwell, you're going and you stay in that, that mindset, you're going to continue producing that mindset in your, in your world. Big believer in manifesting. So if I am constantly dwelling on negative, constantly staying in a state of, you know, this is my situation, this is, this is really hard. And I talk about the challenges of disabilities day in and day out, and that is my consuming world, then that is the mindset I live in, and that is the world I continue to live in. It gets depressing. Um, there are some positive things you can kind of highlight with it, or, you know, I would try to come up with more solutions-based content. For example, um, you know, we're experts in type 1 diabetes. So, you know, I put out articles about like, okay, this is what you need to do when you go to theme parks. Um, this is what I pack on a trip with diabetes. You know, here's a checklist. Um, here's our favorite tools and accessories and things that make our life easier. With, you know, so, so I would try to have more positive and solutions type of uh, blog posts. But to be honest with you, what really resonated and did very well with um, a lot of parents were more of the emotional side of it. You know, people just, it's comforting to hear when other people are going through and can articulate the feelings that you've had, but then you dwell in those feelings. Or it's good to like have it so you can process your feelings, but then you need to move on. And when I'm writing about it and I'm there talking about it and blogging it, and it's my job to blog that day in and day out, those are the feelings I dwell in day in and day out. And I don't wanna stay in that state. Um, I don't want to put things out there that limit my children either and that just constantly label them and make it where like that's their identity and oh my whole blog is about identifying my children as diabetic autistic the other host of other <laughs> diagnoses we have um, I keep putting that out into the universe like I'm limiting them like I'm labeling them and I want to put out in the universe all the things they are that are not just their diagnoses, if that makes sense. Um, so it just came to a point where it was, it was wearing on my mental health and, um, you know, kind of manifesting in my world and in our parenting world as well. So those were some of the decisions behind why I had to kind of start pulling away from the parenting disabilities niche. Um, and so since then, I've kind of gone more into beauty. Now, where am I headed at this point? I am more, um, not more, you know, I'm still doing beauty, I'm doing makeup, 
doing professional makeup now and one of the places that where my heart is really like leading me my soul is just leading me is in this concept of mindful beauty and this is actually something I have discovered for helping me cope with parenting disabilities and just cope with general stresses in life really discovered the whole world of meditation mindfulness being present day to day gratitude so many things have just really helped with my mental health um, and so this is something I almost am wanting to kind of go at the parenting disabilities from that side is how we cope with daily life but it helps everybody else too um, how we can manage the PTSD chronic conditions you know um, I've just really gotten into the meditation and yoga those are things that have really helped me and it's really incorporated into beauty in general um, because the mind the body the skin they are all connected and so you know I've just really it's like my soul is kind of leading me in that direction of um, you know the spa lifestyle and but not so much spa like where I want to focus on you know beauty devices necessarily and cosmetic spa um, you know things like Botox or something like that not that kind of spa but more of like a mindfulness spa um, meditation and relaxation spa really focused on inner work energy clearing energy healing mind body soul I sound very hippie I know but that's just kind of that's where I've really been following my leadings my inner leadings in the direction that I want to go in so you will see a lot of this kind of incorporated into my YouTube content my Instagram content both my pages my blogging that is the direction and it kind of ties everything together to be honest with you I also sell Arbonne which has very much a mindfulness mindset clean beauty um, the health and nutrition and sustainable um, beauty company mind body and soul as well so all of these things all tie together for me so I just kind of wanted to I, I sound like I'm rambling a lot but I wanted to kind of do a video just kind of explaining how everything has kind of fit together with me with with my blogging and with my practices um, my YouTube content as well um, and all of those who started off here on this channel that are more on the parenting disability side while you never see me blog that I wanted to kind of just give that background and explain um, and for some of you who are new that came from the beauty side just kind of my direction my thought where it's you could kind of see where I came from as well um, but anyway that kind of wraps it up I gotta be with my kid and if you want to see more the direction I'm going in. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.